Hey everybody, welcome back to Podcastage. My name is Bander and I'm back with another microphone test video for you guys. Today I am testing out this guy, the Samson CO1U Pro USB microphone as requested by our viewer, Sir Turtle Master. And if you are interested in this mic, it'll set you back about 75 bucks and I'll throw a link in the video description as I always do. Now let's go ahead and talk about what you get in the box. Okay, first, obviously you're gonna get the microphone, you're gonna get the microphone mount down here, and then you're also gonna get this USB cable. On top of that, you get the 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone adapter, which allows you to connect the microphone mount to a stand like this. You'll also get this desktop mic stand, which is not that adjustable. So you really only have one position that you could set it in, which is just like this. Then lastly, you get this nice little user's manual, which is very thorough and it has a bunch of different languages. And then of course there's the registration and additional software links that come in there. So I love the build quality of this microphone. It's an all metal body, all metal grill, and it has some heft to it. This thing feels like a substantial microphone. Then on the front, you have these two features right here. One up here is an LED light that is green when the microphone is receiving power and it blinks red when the signal is clipping. Then down here you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that allows you to have latency free monitoring of what you're recording. The microphone mount is made of plastic but it feels like fairly sturdy plastic and the only thing that's not plastic on it is the part that screws into the microphone to keep it in place. The mic stand that comes with it has metal legs with little rubber stoppers on the end to keep it from sliding around and the center body right here is made of plastic, but it feels like a pretty sturdy plastic, so I'm not that worried about this breaking. The mic stand adapter is obviously all metal. In all honesty, the construction and feel of every single one of these components is great. I'm not used to being impressed like this with every single piece of equipment that comes in a box. So good job, Samson, you done good. Now, Let's go ahead and look at the specs. The mic's frequency response is 20 hertz to 18 kilohertz, which in my opinion is perfectly fine for a frequency response. We do lose out on some of the presence in the 19 and 20 kilohertz range, but honestly, we're not missing out on that much. And I think this is gonna serve you perfectly fine. The polar pattern right here is super cardioid. That means the majority of audio being picked up is right in front of it, but it does pick up a little bit directly behind the microphone as well. And if we look at the EQ visualization, we can see that the front frequency response is relatively flat and that's a top line, but the response at the back of the mic is mainly around two kilohertz to 15 kilohertz. So you're really not gonna wanna use the audio from the back other than anything for ambience, because if you have somebody talking behind the microphone and you talking into the the front, all you're going to hear is what you're saying into the front of the microphone. The audio coming into the back is really just for room noise and ambience and reverb, that kind of stuff. Now let's do the distance test. Okay, now I'm about one foot away from the microphone. Okay, now I am two feet away from the microphone. Now I am four feet away from the microphone. Now let's go ahead and see how this thing works for noise canceling. All right, so I am typing really loudly on the keyboard and clicking my mouse really loudly. And let's see how well you can hear that over my voice or if you can hear my voice at all while I'm doing this in the background really, really loudly. Now let's go ahead and see how this sounds with and without a pop filter. Please bring tacos down to kill Gargamel. Please bring tacos down to kill Gargamel. So I think this mic does really great at noise canceling. It doesn't pick up anything that you don't want it to pick up. It just picks up your voice. Then if you just add a cheap six or seven dollar pop filter, listen to how much better this sounds. You don't hear all the pops or the pfft. You can't hear it. It's awesome. And just like you want any microphone that does noise canceling, you don't want it to pick you up very far away. So this is gonna have to stay relatively close to the sound source or you're gonna have to crank up the volume. And if the noise cancellation on this microphone isn't good enough for you, they do have a download for additional software that does additional noise canceling for you. Now let's go ahead and do a little bit of a music test. So I can see how this mic sounds So in all honesty, I think this is a pretty great sounding mic. It seems to do everything pretty well. Record instruments, record voice, cancel noises going on around you. I feel like if you just want something simple, 
plug and play, just go have good sound. This is a great option. It's about 75 bucks, and if you get the boom arm and the pop filter, it'll set you back maybe 100, and that's not a bad entry point to get audio quality like this. This microphone may have even turned me around on USB microphones, because if you've watched any of my videos, you know how much I hate them, but I don't hate this one. I definitely don't hate this microphone. So yeah, I guess that'll do it. If you enjoyed the video, found it interesting, found it helpful, or just had fun watching it, please give me a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, give me a thumbs down. If you are interested in this mic, I'll throw a link to this and all the accessories in the description down below. And if you want more of these videos, which come out at least once a week, click subscribe or click in the logo in the corner, and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.